Hello, everybody. I am going to do an overview and demonstration of my wheel lock MT24 LSM horn strobe. I got this alarm off of eBay a few days ago. It came over a few days, it arrived a few days ago. And this is a four wire device. There are two wires for the strobe and two wires for the horn. And there are also four dip switches on the back of the alarm. And many of you may already be familiar with this device and other ones in the MT series, but the dip switches are used to adjust the tone on the alarm because that MT stands for multi-tone for those who do not know. And the switch to the left controls the volume. You can have the alarm on high volume or on low volume. When the switch is, the left switch is down, which it is now, it's on low volume, up high volume. Then the other three switches are used to adjust the tones. This alarm can run on 20 to 31 volts DC power. And right now it's gonna be on 24 and a half volts and using this snap circuit setup, I will connect both the horn and the strobe together. This alarm was manufactured on the 38th week of 1996. So it was manufactured uh, in like mid-September, I think. And the horn is 75 decibels and the strobe is 15 candela. I am going to test the alarm and if you have epilepsy or you think you'll have any adverse reactions to flashing lights, please do not watch this part of the video. And I cannot re be responsible for any seizures or medical damage, other medical damages that may occur. Also, this is being activated in a controlled environment. Do never pull a fire alarm in real life unless it is an emergency. So turn down your volume because this is gonna be very loud and I'm wearing earmuffs because of how loud it is even on low volume. The first tone I am going to do is continuous horn. Here we go. Next is code three horn. one of my favorite tones. March time horn. High low. This is what a siren in Europe might sound like. I think this is siren. Slow whoop. Bow. This tone actually seems more pleasant. I don't know if they would use it in a place where loud sounds may startle others, like in hospitals or nursing homes. And lastly, code three tone.
this one also doesn't seem very loud. Now, I read that most of these tones do not grab the attention of bystanders, and the most commonly used ones are the horn tones, continuous code three march time horn. And that is understandable because the other ones are not very loud. And in a large open area, I can, uh, I'm, I imagine like a mall or an airport, those low tones, those low volume tones will not be very audible, especially if it's already noisy with lots of people walking and talking. Well, thank you very much for watching the demonstration of my Wheelock MT24 LSM. I hope to upload more fire alarm videos soon.